Good afternoon, everybody, and happy Tuesday. Today is Tuesday, July 9th, 2024. Just got back from a trip to Southern Wyoming, and today I'm going to be running you guys through an installation uh, that myself and Pipe Reline Solutions both posted about on social media uh, last week with the installation happening the week of July, June 26th. So with this project, it was a little bit bigger than what I was actually on site for. Um, there were three different runs of about 70 to 80 feet of six foot by six foot box culvert and needle lining as well as six foot by seven foot box culvert and then there was just uh 75 feet of 24 inch od snap tight also used for lining on this project um so to get towards what i was on site for which was the lining of one of the six foot by seven foot box culverts you can see here uh what kind of shape they were in these culverts were initially installed back in the 1930s so they have definitely <clears throat> reached if not exceeded their uh, expected or projected life expectancy one thing that had to be done uh, ahead of time with lining these uh, irregularly shaped box culverts is they needed to build concrete shelves to keep the slope consistent with the original hose pipe um, and also prop up the invert to where they uh, wanted for the new lined pipe so that's what the concrete shelf was there <clears throat> and then to address one of the questions we got on social media the pvc pipes in this application as well as most applications are going to be grouting tubes so you can see here they need three grouting tubes with one more or less serving as a venting tube, just poking slightly through where the bulkhead will go with the rest of the tubes going call it halfway through as well as uh, 90 percent through that uh, host pipe and that to be uh helpful for grouting the pipe and lifts not put too much pressure on the liner as well as distribute that low density cellular concrete to where they need to fill those voids and uh just fill the annual space as a whole to transition that load to the liner over time. And unfortunately, the drone could not take off on this trip, so I don't have too many videos or pictures, but you can see here they inserted the first nine foot stick at 9.35 a.m. And there it was once it was inserted. And by one o'clock, they had the liner poking out of the inlet as well as the outlet. So for the four joints, um, took call it three hours um so not not a horrible pace by any means american west did a great job with this one and drawing was a little bit trickier for the for the first one just because they were getting used to stamping together the slightly uncircular or non-circular joint because as that hdp pipe sits down in the field over time starts baking in the sun it can slightly oval itself so try to work around that but i hopped off site at one o'clock um they were going to begin building the internal bulkhead uh just something to push the concrete bulkhead up against over time once it's solidified as well as the bulkheads on the other job sites they're just going to grab that in their space and um and consider these culverts fully structured repaired for another 100 years and another question we got on social media was about using a circular liner for a non-circular hose pipe this is um this just goes to show how we kind of have an option for everything for this individual culvert, Baba was in play. A 48 inch circular liner met the hydraulics and the HTP met their design life and structural standards. So this was the fit for this project. If they need to max out every bit of hydraulic capacity, then they could just uh, go with the non-circular liner, which would get a little bit complicated with federal funds at play. But um, all in all, if you guys have any culvert whatsoever, 10 inch ID to upwards of 20 foot, circular arch box or regularly shaped, just let us know and we will be sure to get you a 100-year design life fully structural solution. Um, hope you all enjoy the rest of your Tuesday and take care.